King Von was one of those people that really had the potential of being huge, but the choices he made in life ended up being the reason for his own demise. Von's death was shocking, but in other ways totally expected too. Keep watching to the end of this video to find out the sad story behind King Von's death. Before we get into the video, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Even though everyone knows King Von as one of the biggest up-and-coming rappers of his time, not many people know about his traumatic past. A past that might have had a major role to play in the way things ended up turning out for him. Growing up, Von's dad was constantly in and out of jail, and he barely even saw him throughout the time that he was a child. The first time Von really met him and had an actual conversation with him in person was when he was eight years old. Because of the differences his absence created, Von's parents used to fight a lot. His mother thought that he was never around to support his family. His mother was the only parental figure he and his siblings had. She was the one playing the role of both a mother and father, which ended up taking a toll on the children. But this wasn't really an ordinary family. There was even more going on, things that slowly add up to create disastrous effects. At the outset, they seemed like a normally dysfunctional family, but under the facade, Vaughn's father was actually part of a gang. This was also why he was in and out of jail all the time. In his hometown, his father was considered a legend and not in a good way. He was a massive gangster. His street name was Silk because he was almost always able to slip through major trouble one way or another. Throughout that time, Vaughn at least had some sort of father figure in his life, but then things took a turn. When Vaughn was just 11 years old, his dad actually ended up passing away because of a sniper shot from a rival gang. Even though Vaughn's father was basically non-existent in his life, he still made a very big impact in these three years that he actually got to spend time with him. Some think that this might have been because of the fact that he craved having a real dad for so much time in his life that when he finally got it and lost it, he spiraled. It was very apparent how much he missed him because there were several points during his music career where Vaughn actually made songs about him as tributes to him. In Exposing Me, one of the lines was, rest in peace to Silk. He even made an Instagram post talking about his father and all the things he taught him. But the sad part is that in the end, everything his father taught him was what took his life. Just like his father, Vaughn eventually found himself as part of a gang. What's crazier is that it happened only five years after his father died when he was just 16. Soon after he joined in, he even got arrested. This was just the start of the legal problems Vaughn would be in for in the future, and at the time he was just seen as a troubled kid. But no one thought that it would be just the start of a life that would just progressively get worse by the year. But the first time it started to biome a little clearer was when he was 19. At that point in his life, he wasn't just troubled, he was pretty much heartless. He was a part of the shooting that took place in May of 2014 in Englewood, Chicago. In the shooting, he ended up murdering 19-year-old Malcolm Stuckey and injuring two others, although he was charged with murder and manslaughter. However, all the charges ended up being dropped because none of the witnesses testified in 2017. In 2019, he was arrested once again for being a part of a shooting in Atlanta along with Lil Durk. Apparently, both of them shot a man outside of a popular drive-in restaurant who ended up surviving just because the gunshot missed all of the major vital organs and his injuries ended up not being serious enough to be life-threatening. On top of that, they even robbed him of all his money and took his Jeep Cherokee. But according to King Von, the man had a gun on him. Von and Dirk claimed that seeing the man armed, they were just defending themselves and accidentally shot him. Both of them ended up being arrested for attempted murder and aggravated assault. However, once again, got out on $250,000 and $300,000 bonds after spending just a few weeks in jail. In July of 2021, it was revealed by the Chicago police that King Von murdered one of Gangster Disciples' most infamous members, Gakira Barnes or K.I. Apparently, she had killed over 17 people when she was just 17 years old. The murder took place when Barnes was walking up to her friend's house when suddenly a hooded man came and shot her nine times, that man being Vaughn. 
She ended up dying two hours later in the hospital. Although no one really knows why King Von killed her, there have been speculations that she was the one that murdered a Black Disciples member, O.D. Perry, and that Von killed her as revenge. Von actually wasn't charged for her murder because the prosecutors thought that they wouldn't be able to find enough proof in court and dropped all charges. At around 2 a.m. on the 6th of November 2020, it finally did. Vaughn was brutally shot and murdered during a conflict with some of the gang members of Quando Ronda in Atlanta, Georgia. The murder took place in the parking lot of Monaco Hookah Lounge on Trinity Avenue. Many other people also were injured and killed during the chaos, and one person was even hit by a car. Three people were found shot and later died while others ended up leaving themselves. In the surveillance camera footage, there was a group of people beating each other up until one man that was hiding behind an SUV stepped out and shot at least two people, one of them being Vaughn. After Vaughn got shot, he was quickly put into a car by some of the people he was with and driven away from the scene of the crime. He later died in the hospital that day at just 26 years old. Quando Rondo and King Vaughn have a pretty rough history together, and according to the police, it was Vaughn who was trying to fight with the gang members of Quando Rondo. The members of Quando Rondo were literally taking a nap in a car outside of the nightclub. Apparently, there were also two police officers who were working at the nightclub who realized that there was some sort of shooting happening between a few people. The police and the gang members also exchanged gunfire, but they weren't seen on the surveillance camera footage. Many people also suspect that the police officers could have been the one to murder King Vaughn, since they were also part of this whole debacle. But no one really knows if the gunshots from the police hit anyone, since they aren't on surveillance camera, neither did any of the suspects say they saw anyone get hit from the gunshots of the officers. That their investigator thinks that Vaughn was shot by Quando Rondo for sure. The the person who shot and killed King Vaughn was actually a 22-year-old man, Timothy Leakes, who was actually wounded from the shooting too. Other than him, two men named Kevin Jones and Johnny Harris were also arrested and are currently in the custody of police. King Vaughn left behind three of his kids and one that was on its way. He died before he was even able to meet his youngest child. His children will now grow up without a father, just like he did. King Von had the potential to be great things, but because of his sad backstory, he didn't even realize that he was walking right into his father's footsteps. Not only did he live the way Silk did, but he died like him too. Things could have been far different had he left the life of violence behind and focused on his career instead. That's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.